I just made pizza crust in my new KitchenAid mixer. And so you can see that recipe here in the um, card of this video. But now I want to make pizza crust in the bread machine. I want to show you how easy it is. I've been doing this forever. And in the previously mentioned video that I just did, I, I encourage folks to try a bread machine. You can get these at thrift stores at Goodwill all day long, y'all. I have found these or seen these at thrift stores. I'm on my second bread machine in 20-something years. Used, um, I wouldn't say frequently, but periodically. Um, it's wor It was worth it enough to us to keep it on the RV when we were full-time traveling. Because it is so easy to make my... Uh, my white bread, slicing white bread recipe that's in my first cookbook. It was so easy to, to make that in the bread machine. Also pizza crust and obviously other kinds of bread. Um, so different bread machines are going to require that you add the dry ingredients first or the wet ingredients first. So please always refer to manufacturer's instructions on that. My particular bread machine and I don't remember what happened. My, my mother-in-law gave me my first one. And I can't remember when or what happened. But I used it up. Some, You know, it, I outused it. <laughs> and had to get another one. And this is my second. And I don't remember when I got it. Or anything like that. I've had it so long. This is a Black & Decker All-in-One Deluxe. Automatic bread maker. Don't even know if they make them anymore. But if you can find one, just know this thing has served me well, and I'm so grateful. So I just want to put together for you something simple to do in a bread machine. And this is pizza crust that you don't have to deal with. You don't have to knead it. You don't have to do anything. I am doubling the recipe that's in my second cookbook, Supper's Ready, Let's Eat, page 75, and I'm doubling this recipe. So first of all, I'm going to put one cup of water. This is actually warm water. Um, but you don't have to warm the water. The bread machine heats all the ingredients up to the temperature that you need. I just happen to have water already warmed on the stove. Alright, uh, next is two tablespoons of oil and I'm using um, olive. I like to use MCT oil too sometimes because that's a good healthy uh, oil. I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, half a teaspoon of, actually a teaspoon of salt. I'm doubling it. Okay. And um, there is no um, sweetener in this particular recipe, but if you wanted to, what I added in my last one I just did was this garlic fermented honey. It's delicious. In fact, I'll just go ahead and add some. Um, and a little piece of garlic got in there, and that's okay. This is so healthy, and it makes the pizza crust so delicious with that honey flavor and the garlic. It's very good. And just two more ingredients, and that would be my bread flour and my yeast. I do use bread flour in this recipe, and this is a tried and true recipe. Now, uh, if you are new to baking, remember you're not just going to dip that in there and pack that flour in. You're not going to do that. Um, different cooks will do things different ways. You can put it out in a bowl. You can sift it. All those kinds of things. But what I'm doing is I'm just taking this scoop, which I leave in here. I might fluff it, fluff it up a little. And then I will go in here and very gently um, I will kind of shake it to level, uh, level it off. If you want to, you can take a knife and smooth it. That is probably the more accurate way, but also I have a feel because I've been cooking a while, so I have a feel and an idea of how light or packed or not packed it needs to be. So what we're going to do is three cups of bread flour. Half, one, and three. All right, that is that. It goes back to the cabinet. And then two teaspoons of yeast. Now, I talk in this video here, I do a very short little message, a tutorial about the difference in instant yeast and active dry yeast. Dry as, as opposed to compressed. Um, 
dry actually obviously has the liquid out i don't even know if you can find compressed yeast anymore but anyway the difference between instant and active is talked about in this video linked here i will tell you that instant can be added directly to flour and does not have to be proofed but which is what you would think you would need in this case i have used this active dry yeast in my bread machine on top of the flour for umpteen years and with success so i'm putting in and this is good fresh yeast too so this is gonna be great okay now that's my two teaspoons of yeast and it's over more in the corner of the flour and not the liquid and that's it i just go over here and i put it on the dough cycle of my machine so let's go do that a little locking mechanism and you just set that in there and turn it until it locks. There's that. It has to lock in there. And then put my lid down. And I am going to set it on, um, let's see, I have to be able to read it, bread type. So I want to hit that until it says dough. There you go, dough and pasta. It'll take two hours, and I, on this model, I can set the timer if I want to wait on it to start uh, making. So two hours, and it'll make dough, and then after that, I'll have pizza dough, and I'll be able to form that in, into my pizza crust and use it. What'll happen is it takes, it takes time to warm up. Everything's got to get to the right temp, and then if I've put out all the ingredients in properly or they're good ingredients and active yeast then I will be able to or a live yeast I should say that way then I should um, everything will work just fine so I hope that's yet another way that you can make pizza crust at home every Friday night is pizza night here at Heritage House with our family sometimes we do order it out we do order from the local pizzeria or um, Pizza Hut or East of Chicago. We, we do that. Sometimes I buy it from the grocery store. Sometimes I get organic pizza from Aldi. Sometimes I take an, a store-bought cheese pizza and I embellish it with all kinds of things from home. So it's semi-homemade. So we do different things, but if I'm home on a Friday or think about it ahead of time, which I usually don't, then I can make it in the bread machine or um, in the mixer or by hand. So it does not have to be a daunting task. We make, um, make my own pizza sauce, or you can just use a jar of, you know, pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce from the grocery store. And Aldi has this uncured pepperoni right now. And another tip is... <clears throat> You can go ahead, this is from the freezer, you can go ahead and brown sausage. This is sausage and um, grass-fed beef and mushrooms all cooked together. And ha this is half of what we cooked the other day. Put it in the freezer and you're ready for this week's pizza. Now the good thing about the bread machine too, I made this several, oh see it's deflating, that's fine. It was, this thing was full, now it's going down. That's fine. I made this, put it in the bread machine several hours ago. I've done all kinds of things since then. I've gone to the grocery store. It is several hours later. This is the little mechanism inside that um, does the mixing and the um, kneading and so forth. So you definitely want to make sure that is in your container here before you start adding the ingredients. Believe me, trust me, I've done it. I've left it out. And you pretty much have to dump the ingredients out and start all over. Also, one time, years and years ago, I gave a loaf of bread to my grandmother. Uh, and uh, I left this in it. So I had to make sure I went back over there to get this. So this is vital, this little piece. All right, so that is our dough. I should have, I should have floured this first. But what I'll do is I will flour my board a little bit. And I will um, knead it just a little bit and I'll cut it in half and I'll have my pizza dough. In the bread machine, you saw how easy that was. So I hope you will enjoy um, trying this in a bread machine. Maybe you can find a bread machine. Let me know in the comments, do you have a bread machine? Are you? Did this pique your interest at all? So um, bread dough, pizza dough, 
in the bread machine, ready to go. The family members are going to come over here and just use this to make their own pizza in my individual cast iron pans. I encourage you to have family night, a cozy, cozy time, any time of the year, but I encourage you to have a restful winter and a cozy family night, or if it's one or two of you, you know, you can make this, you can always freeze for later, and have leftovers. I'm a big proponent of leftovers. So until next time, I'm Miss Katie with Heritage Ways, and I really hope that you're counting your blessings. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.